Hi guys, DIY Mark. I'm standing next to our recently replaced dishwasher. I've been contemplating replacing this 12 year old unit for the past several months. It still works, but over time it seems like it just kept performing worse and worse. Pretty much we were cleaning the dishes before we put them in the dishwasher. And if we didn't do a good job pre-cleaning the dishes, inevitably there was going to be dried food on them when we unloaded it after its cycle. So it got me to ask the question, when is the right time to replace the dishwasher? Some people wait until the machine dies, which is fine, but I also consider it time when it's no longer doing its job. For us, the need to pre-clean the dishes more and more happens so slowly, we just kind of adapted to it. We tried changing our detergent without much luck. The problem, I believe, is the really hard water we have in our area. It slowly clogs the water pathways and just generally hurts performance. I've tried to revive it a number of times with a cycle of vinegar, which helps, but eventually even that did nothing anymore. I can't remember how much we paid for the dishwasher 12 years ago, but it was a higher end KitchenAid brand. It has a stainless steel tub, lots of cycle options and convenience features. It was designed to accept a front panel and I made a faux front that matches the rest of our kitchen cabinets. Fast forward to this month and I ran across a deal for a GE stainless steel front dishwasher that I could not pass up. This new GE line was just released and I see that it sells at Home Depot for upwards of $600. So I felt like it was a good choice. I'm going to go over all the features and put it through its paces with some particularly challenging dirty dishes and see how it does. Normally, I would have installed it myself as I did with the original KitchenAid dishwasher 12 years ago. But this deal included free installation, a new cord, drain line, and supply, which after more than a decade is a good idea to replace. Under my watchful eye, the installers did a great job and made sure that I was satisfied with the installation. As I mentioned, the face of this dishwasher is stainless steel and it matches our other stainless appliances quite nicely. The front is supposed to hide fingerprint marks, which is nice if you have little kids. Inside, the tub is also stainless steel, and it has two racks. There is an optional third rack, but this traditional setup seems fine for our needs. Our old KitchenAid had reconfigurable racks, meaning you could change the spacing of the tines to handle different sized loads. But frankly, it's been years since we've used that feature. The new GE has much more top rack height, which can accommodate larger items. Small plates fit on the top rack, which would only fit on the lower rack of our old dishwasher. The top rack also sports this unique bottle cleaning feature. There are four rack tines that are actually spray nozzles that can be used for hard to clean glasses, baby bottles, or for cleaning small neck water bottles like I have here. The controls are top mounted and as you can see here there are lots of options. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just a couple of highlights worth noting. You can select the dishwasher to send water to the upper or lower rack exclusively. The idea is, is if you have a small load, but realistically we rarely just wash glasses or just plates. There's always some combination of top and bottom rack items. So this is a semi worthless feature in my opinion. There are two cleaning options that were not present on my old machine. The first is an AutoSense watch. The dishwasher actually monitors the particulates in the water and determines how long to run for, increasing the time if the water is still dirty. The second feature is Steam Clean. The idea here is to use steam to get the stuck on food to soften up and then release more easily when it starts its regular wash cycle. The downside of using the steam cycle is that it adds a lot of time. In fact, selecting steam option means nearly a three hour start to finish wash. But that might be okay if you start the machine up as you go to bed. There are also enhanced drying options on this dishwasher. We live in a fairly dry climate and I'm not a fan of using electricity to dry dishes when I can just open the door and be patient. After all, it is a dishwasher not a dish dryer. But some people are big fans of this kind of feature. Again, the downside is the added time to the cycle. 
Selecting the high dry boost means that the cycle time is now four and a half hours. So it's time to test the most important feature of all, how well it cleans dishes. I've assembled a number of typically difficult items to test it on. I didn't pull any punches for this test. These collected over about a three day period. No pre-washing or rinsing and the food has had a chance to dry in most cases. Tough items like burnt on barbecue sauce, microwave leftovers, and dried juice pulp. Cooked on eggs and oatmeal. Greasy plates and melted cheese. And this test will include some plastic items as well, which is more porous and stains easily. I believe these are going to give the GE a run for its money. I'm going to use the most aggressive wash options, including the steam cycle, to loosen the dried on food. And I'll place the glassware on the bottle nozzles to test them as well. I'll start a timer to see how long the whole thing takes. While the cycle was running, I did a number of noise test samples using my sound meter. It averaged about 49 decibels, which is about 5 dB quieter than my old dishwasher. Still, I'd say it's a bit too noisy to run while you're watching TV in the adjacent room. I was just alerted that the dishwasher just finished. Looks like just a minute over three and a half hours for the cycle to complete. I'm anxious to see how it did. So the results were less than spectacular. About a quarter of the dishes did not come clean and will have to be manually washed. The challenge was just too much for it. Still, some things did surprise me. The glasses came out perfect. Neither the dried on milkshake or the lemonade pulp was a problem for the bottle jets. The burnt on barbecue sauce was also gone, but the pancake batter bowl, the egg and the oatmeal bowls, and the cutting board still have food on them. Most of the failed items were nested items, which means it's really important to be mindful how you load the machine to get maximum results. Overall, this GE dramatically outperforms my old KitchenAid. The bottle jet feature really impressed me, but the steam cycle option, it really didn't help that much. You only need to look at the results of our dirty gist challenge again to see that the GE is far from perfect. The marketing claims of loading any and all dishes without pre-rinsing and pre-cleaning are far from true. Unless you like washing dishes twice. So I would give this GE dishwasher a C grade or three out of five stars. So back to the original question, when should you consider replacing your dishwasher? That's a tough question, but I would say replacing it to improve cleaning is probably not the right answer. I hate to say it, but I was wrong. Replace your current dishwasher when it breaks. Well, this was a fun test and I hope you got something out of it. And I would love to hear your dishwashing tips and tricks in the comments below. Thanks for watching.